Well, students at a Brooklyn high school had to learn remotely today after thousands of migrants were relocated to their high school because of the storm. CBS News' Natalie Dudridge live in Midwood, Brooklyn at James Madison High School with more. Natalie? Well, hi there, Chris. So when parents learned that their teenagers, high school students here at James Madison, would have their classes interrupted in order to accommodate migrants during the storm, they were furious. And now there are questions over if this will happen every time there's a weather event. Outraged parents and some Midwood community members argued students' classes at James Madison High School should never have been moved online to make room for migrants to temporarily shelter in their gym and auditorium during Tuesday night's storm. What are you talking about? The human issue here. It's inexcusable to do this to the students of New York City high schools, especially after all they've been through with COVID. They have to come up with another solution. They cannot do this to the school kids. Parents told us they were surprised when they were notified Tuesday their students would learn remote Wednesday. They were even less impressed impressed when they said some online classes never even happened. My son woke off for the first period. Um, the teacher didn't even show up to the link. Uh, he waited for the second period. No teacher. Tuesday, city officials announced nearly 2,000 migrants would be bused from their tent shelters at Floyd Bennett Field to James Madison High School due to concerns over the tent's ability to stand up to severe weather. We are doing this out of an abundance of caution because of the high winds. Officials said migrant families were bused back to Floyd Bennett Field at 4.15 Wednesday morning. A timing decision New York State Assembly member Michael Novikov also questions, along with the costs, staffing, and planning required to move hundreds of people. I'm sympathetic for migrants, too. I mean, uh, I, I have no idea why they were moved that during the night. You know, they're, 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 those people have kids. Why 4.15 in the morning? The school is closed anyway, so they could have stayed here until 6 or 7 a.m. Elected officials and community leaders say they can give the city a list of empty buildings much better suited to house migrants during the next storm than a high school would be. Meanwhile, we are told this high school is being cleaned and sports practices, they're still canceled today. We're live in Brooklyn, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News. And still no word as to why they had to do it at 415. Okay, Natalie, thank you.